This episode of D News is brought to you by Full Sail University. Online fraud, it's a huge problem, and if you think it can't happen to you, think again. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and considering how much time we all spend online these days, it's no wonder internet fraud has become one of the most common forms of white collar crime. In 2012 alone, the Internet Crime Complaint Center received almost 290,000 reports of internet fraud, with losses totaling over $525 million. That is a lot of money. But what you may not know is that certain risk factors can make us more likely to fall victim to it. And according to the AARP, it's not just senior citizens, but it's also people who have recently lost their jobs or are otherwise down and out. Those are the people who are at most risk. Earlier this year, the AARP conducted a national survey of nearly 12,000 people to see if there was any correlation between our behaviors and life experiences and our chances of being scammed online. After sifting through the responses, they noticed several key risk factors that people tend to engage in right before they fall victim. Some of them are pretty obvious, like being impulsive, clicking on pop-up ads, or opening emails from unknown sources, but others seem like something any of us could do on a given day. Selling items through auction sites like eBay, buying through online payment transfer sites, or visiting a website that requires you to read a privacy policy or terms of agreement statement. Aside from internet behavior though, there are also things that happen to us in real life that can increase our chances of becoming victims. Being depressed, having feelings of isolation, being worried about debt, and experiencing negative changes in our financial status are all risk factors that can make us more distracted and thus more vulnerable online. According to San Diego-based defense lawyer Alex Azoles, criminals tend to target people who are down and out because they seem like they'd be easy targets which they often are. So being aware of your risk factors and knowing how to hide them can help you better protect yourself. One of the biggest steps you can take to do that is to limit how much personal information you share online. The more information a con artist has about you, the easier it is to steal your identity. So maybe don't put your address on Facebook, at least not publicly. The AARP also warns against clicking on pop-up ads or any email that seems even slightly suspicious. They say banks will never ever send emails to their customers asking them to click on a link in in order to verify their personal information. So if you do get an email like that, know that it's a scam and ignore it. They also advise that you thoroughly read a website's privacy statement and terms of agreement before signing, but be aware that a privacy policy doesn't always mean your information won't be shared with other sites. If a lot of this seems pretty duh to you, remember that even the most savvy internet users can fall prey to online scammers. So it's important that we educate ourselves and try to be aware of the times in our life when we might be more at risk. Speaking of educating yourself, if you're looking to bone up on your computer skills or maybe even make a career out of them, then Full Sail University could be the place for you. They offer bachelor's degree programs that can prepare you for a career in software technology, blending code-based curriculum with real-world experience. In addition to software and mobile development, they also offer a web design and development bachelor's degree program available on campus and online that teaches front-end design and back-end development, along with coding formats, programming languages, and much more. All students are given hands-on access to technology from day one, including a laptop computer, with all the software and tools you need at a deep institutional discount. They also offer an emerging technology scholarship for those degree programs with awards of up to $40,000, and financial aid is available for those who qualify. If you want to learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, just head over to fullsail.edu slash dnews, and remember, every visit to that link helps support the show. In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, or any stories you want to share relating to online fraud, just leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.